One of the things that I don't like when I interview a new grad is that I don't want them to come to me thinking that they know everything or trying to make me feel that they know everything. I want someone that's trainable, someone that I can help understand this, uh, this program. I don't want them to know everything and then when they get involved in it, they're not doing anything the way that they're supposed to. I understand that you don't know everything, you're just getting out of school, so let me help you. So the one thing that, that you probably shouldn't do in the initial interview process is talk or ask about compensation. Those types of conversations will come a little bit later in the relationship. Now I will say this, if the recruiter asks you what your compensation range is, then that's okay to answer. It's kind of okay for them to talk about it, but not okay for you to talk about it. I think one of the, one of the my advice for them not to do would be um, one of the first questions to ask is what about salary? I think you know salary is something a conversation that comes later on during the the job interview. So I think um, while salary is very important, it's it's something that can be discussed later on during the interview process versus the initial interview. During the interview, what you don't want to do is to show up late to the interview. Uh, be sure that you show up on time and also that you're dressed professionally. You know, I, I always, uh, I encourage people to invest in at least one business suit so that you can, you know, show up on time and you're dressed professionally. One thing you, you don't want to do in an interview is when a question is asked is to not answer it directly. Um, it's easy to sort of get off track um, and if you're sort of rambling on, and a, on, an, on a question and you're in your mind thinking, well, gee, did I really answer that question? It's very important that you answer the question. If you're not sure, it's perfectly okay to ask, did I answer that question for you? And, and if they say, you know, not really, can you be a little more specific? Then, then narrow it down, be a little bit more specific and answer the question. My advice for students on what not to do would be not to disappear after the interview process. I think one thing that gets lost in the process is follow-up. Uh, we on the corporate and community side will be in touch with candidates after interviews, but it's always a good idea for the candidates to follow up with their potential employers to express their interest. The worst thing that you can do is come unprepared to an interview. Research all the facilities that you're looking to research the individual make sure that any questions that are available on the internet you know asking stupid questions during the course of an interview just shows that you didn't do your research and you're not interested in that opportunity <laughs>